Welcome back to the Sneak This, your weekly podcast on sneakers, sports, culture, and other nonsense. Made by sneakerheads for sneakerheads. Find the podcast streaming on iTunes, Google Play Music, Stitcher, YouTube, and on the website, which is updated daily at www.thesneakdisc.com. Get at us on Twitter at the underscore sneak disc, Instagram at the sneak disc, and check out the Facebook page, The Sneak Disc Podcast. And now, on to the sneak disc. Follow us or else. Episode 22, right? I'm pretty sure it's 21, but... I don't know, man. Right, it smells like on. beer in here. That's hold on. Man. Yeah, because he just burped. Let me see. Uh, oh, e- oh. There's a little bit of drinking going on in here. Let's go to the sneakdisc.com. What's that? All right. <laughs> oh, it is episode 21. Yo, Told you. episode 21. Greg, Ryan, George, back in the building. Bingo. Boing. Uh, what are we talking about today? Got a lot of stuff happening this week. We got men scaling the Trump Towers. We got RG3 being made. How do you know this. about that? And you don't even know about the Olympics. <laughs> what do you I mean? never even heard of that. I never even heard that. We oh, got bass, bass oh, super bass. I've been chilling. I've been looking for cars. We oh, got a terrible experience. RG3 being named the starter, the savior of the oh, Cleveland Browns. All right, that's enough. We can end that now. We got an exciting topic for today, one that I've been waiting to talk about. Asics and New Balances. Are they still cracking? Or is the game over? You've been waiting to talk about this? Why I actually have been. Like, I mean, because it's like, I don't know. Like, I mean, there's a lot of other things that covered uh, before that, but, you know, it's, it's a good it's topic. A, it's a good topic. So then we'll get into our top 10 Asics, New Balances of all time with honorable mentions. I have to. With honorable mentions. But first, there was a big deal in the NFL this week. Wait, wait, wait hold on a second. What? Uh, Pickups? You, you going? Yeah, you going right into whatever? No, you didn't buy anything. I'm shocked. Did I buy? I mean, uh, oh no, I picked up a pair of metallic fives. It comes out. I did. I picked up a pair of metallic fives on that swoosh. You hate fives. You got Kurt. You you got I like Kurt. Metallic, I like fives. No, you don't. I do you like fives. Us like fives. I like fives. Uh, I mean, I just wore fives like. Three, four weeks ago, I wore those uh, Wolf Grey Fives. All right. Actually, you wore more than that because I think you wore them uh, Supremes, too. Oh, I did. I, I wore my Camel uh, Supreme Fives, yeah, too. I right. like Fives. I guess you do like Fives. I do like Fives. What'd you cop, George? What'd you cop? Double suck. That's the only thing you bought? I don't believe you. That's it, man. What well, sneakers, cop? that's all I bought. What'd you get? What'd you buy? I know you bought something. Nothing. I have nothing. You bought a new car. Rich. I haven't bought that yet. That's the worst experience of my life. So, me, I can't buy nothing until I get a car. So... And that's facts. So, what'd you get? Uh, I think last week, last week I said the Air Max One Flyknits, Fly Knits, right? So, in when did you get those? You wearing lunar? What are they called? Lunar explosion? What's the newest thing? The what you got on? <laughs> I don't know what the lunar are. Doogie Tennis Classic. Uh, okay, I don't know what they are. multicolored fruity pebbles? Looney, lunar, Looney, Looney bin. The lunar. Uh, what's the one that came out with the sock? The sock thing. The sock hyper dunks. Them joints look like croissants. Okay, those are dope. <laughs> those are actually kind of tight. If I played no. basketball, okay. I would look at those and then buy something else. But they <laughs> tight, though. I'm not paying full price for anything, so just, just, Ever so, just again. so we're clear. I actually got uh, – I'll figure out what these lunar whatevers are. But I got lunar something. something. Summer Games colorway under retail, shipped, Roadrunners – what is it called? Roadrunners Road Sports. Sports. Yep. Yep, Flames. And uh, – Copping anything. Hey, did you ever get multicolor? Did you ever get Ultra Boost? You did get them under, under oh. retail. Yeah, it's in the picture on the thread yesterday. Yeah, he did. Oh, I must not Ultra Boost attention. multicolor under retail one seventy five shipped. Wait, you uh, no, but you know, so you never got the original pair from when you and I ordered. Yeah, that's yeah, it. that's the one. Oh, I got. you got it in. Yeah, from Rogan. just yesterday, from yeah. two months ago. Yeah, because it was on back order. Oh. I just don't understand why it was back ordered beyond when everyone else was getting their shipments. That made no sense. Was to it me. two months? It wasn't that long. It was yeah, about it was June two months 4th ago. Or whatever, yeah. June something. I looked at the thing. Yeah, June yeah, it was two 4th. months ago. And I'm still salty about them. Ooh, what a time. Man. June 4th. That was a good, those were good co- days. That was a month before that July 4th. That was crazy. That was a crazy time. That was, okay. crazy. That was yeah. cracking. Yeah, June 4th yeah, was cracking. It was cracking. You got the game. Uh yeah, uh, probably a lot of shootings happened that day around the country. So, <laughs> oh, the, the, good good thing you guys are exploiting the victims. Keep the sneak, keep the sneak thread was cracking that day. 
you had a million opportunities to buy those multi- the multicolor ones. I'm salty about them. Too. I don't know if I like them. No, I like, like a person. They dope. Or is yes. it like? Eh. Okay, when you first saw those, you thought it was one of the best shoes you've ever seen. You were like, "Those are actual I did. fire." That was a long time. And ago. Now you just like mm, times mm-hmm. change. That was March fourth. Yes, times change within a three month span. I don't know. They don't. They are, Styles I change. I think People I probably. Change. I think I probably take the 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 stripes off on those. I probably try to uncage those. Is there anything coming out like, like in the next? I mean, weeks? I got them below retail, so I don't know. Oh no! That any of us want fourteens <laughs> below retails? Nice fourteens. You want fourteens? I do, but I don't want to pay full price for them. No, I love fourteen. I think the only thing I want coming out, like I, I kind of want a pair of those about, Olympic le- or those uh, closing ceremony eleven lows, the gold right lows. Now. No one, none of you. Maybe Simple's gold buying Jordan. Gold lows are not buying. Right. Gold lows are not. No, 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 those are dope. They're dope. They came out on that. Uh, what was it? Nike or someone had like an early release thing going on for. They came maybe out. It was in Vegas. Trophy or room, something. yeah, trophy room, and then that store, some store in Vegas, released them. It must have oh, been. During I think it was during the, the thirty-one during when the party U- or Team USA was practicing there. Yes. or whatever. I think. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, you're right. You're right. You're yeah. right. I mean, they look dope. I saw them in person over the weekend, and like they are super nice. Definitely, they're definitely on my radar. But I don't think anything else is coming out over the next. Else. I'll take the fourteen. I like the fourteens. Which color? But I'm not copying. You talk, oh, that's the black. Uh, yeah, yeah. Whatever I'm joined call. That's, I like the oxidized green ones. Those yeah. ain't bad. A little too much white, but I ain't copying. Lunar Epic Fly Knit is what they're called. <laughs> Thanks for clearing, clearing that up for us. <laughs> low. Low um, Lunar Epic Fly Knit uh, Summer Games Multicolor. So yeah, I ain't copying nothing, man. I ain't buying no Jordans. <laughs> I'm There's a, not the Gold Metal Ultra Boost come out next week. I don't know why you're not excited about that. Gold Metal Ultra Boost? I am, but they're okay. just black with gold pieces, brown pieces, and silver pieces. In the back. Yeah, it is like, like, but you don't have a black pair though. Who me? Yes, I do. Which one? The um, I mean, it has that stupid map on the toe. That whatever. Oh, you the had black the and gray ones? ones? But it was a long time ago. Oh, I didn't know you had those. Yeah, I never. I, I didn't you tried get, to get the like white one version of that, but I didn't know you got I, that. I got that one too. I got that from no, Dick's Sporting Goods. Got canceled. Yo, Greg oh, got secret. I got from Dick's Sporting Goods. Yeah. Uh, I had ordered secrets. one from Finish Line and it got canceled. And then I no, got one you from ordered from like Renarts. <laughs> oh yeah, the first time. <laughs> no, yeah, they Greg. follow us on, on Instagram, man. Uh-huh. They like us. Uh, well, you should tell them. Greg got secrets. I was walking up in my Diamond Fears and he's like, "I gotta wear mine." I was like, "You said you didn't have these." He's like, nah, "I I'm just, I never said I didn't have them. I never told you that." I just never told anybody I copped them. We have we've had conversations about these shoes, and you were like, "The only shoes I need to buy." Are Olympic ninety sixes? Okay. Did you buy those already? No, I'm waiting. Those you should have bought those already. I thought, you, I thought you couldn't resist. I could, but like, but now that they're on, how did you Jimmy not get Jazz, those? But you got metallic fives before those. Because I got metallic fives for forty percent off. I thought you didn't have a swoosh. Yeah, I just asked there. him. Did he get uncurved? He didn't answer. <laughs> <laughs> that curveball. That curveball came in. I hit it. Oh, I'm ready for softball curvy. season. He's still. I'm curvy. ready for softball season. I'll make sure I tag him in this. Uh, listen up at at uh, the 22 sec 22 minute mark. I'm ready for softball season. Hitting those curves. So you got uncurved or what? Uncurved. Dang. I guess somebody likes to respond. Um, Simple must have did something special for him. Somebody Pause. giving it up. <laughs> yeah, it uh, was just a good fit, as Greg likes to say. Where are we going? <laughs> what are we talking about? Well, hold first. on, hold on. Uh, and then that NMD day or whatever, you ain't copping no um, olives? I mean, oh, the NMD oh, one or whatever, they come out with next that, week. That plastic on the side? I That's hate the those. the one you man. guys yelled at me about saying I thought it looked like no, it was gray. We knew like, they were olive, olive, but I don't like yeah, that I don't, I don't like that shoe either. What? It's over-designed. It's too many pieces on it. To, uh, I don't like it. I need either olive, like normal NMD, or I need an olive, olive ultra boost. That's it. No, I never said that. We just argued about whether we the argued, picture was yeah. olive gray. I never said it was like fire or nothing. Before that, you said it was dope because I had sent it like way before we talked about that. And that was probably during the, the hype. That was probably during the, the uh, hype. Okay, so at least you admit it. I just don't care about those. Uh, I, the, 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 if, if I got them, I take that plastic off the side. That's a fact. They look crazy. They look uh, crazy. I think they're taking crazy. stuff too far. I don't even know. They're what taking that means. stuff too far. You guys are. This is like. This is a bizarro world. Y'all are copying Jordans and boots. I'm not and copying like, Jordans. I said I like them. You just said you want to cop stuff, and then you copy 96s, and you cop. Oh, I'm copying 96s. 96s are not right. Jordans. Come on, now. I said, and, I said and boots. Right. Come yes. on. You guys are copping boots what? and talking about. You would have copped ninety sixes when we saw them joints at that one store. <laughs> you would have copped. <laughs> that was them. about four years ago. No? <laughs> that cat All hair. Right. It wasn't. Oh, it wasn't four years ago. Oh, you know what? Oh uh, yeah, yes. Cat hair specials. Those were about four years ago. It's when years Royal ago. Ones came out. 
That so was, that was yeah. about four because, years ago. Uh, man, I know when, why we said that, but that was like a year before that. That was Royal there. Ones. So that was Royal <laughs> One release. There was a certain sweatshirt. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> chill. <laughs> he probably don't listen to this. I don't care. Uh, right, dog here. Anyways, uh, what are we talking about? Hall of Fame game. Hall of Fame. Game. Before we get into that, this is the last week, the last weekend to get into Manor to use the twenty percent off sneak disc code. So make sure you get in there, get your gear for back to school. We've had a good response to us so far, so let's keep it going. Um, yeah, we had a huge thing happen this week for the first time in I don't know how many years that the Hall of Fame game was canceled due to field conditions. Nobody got to see. What was it? The Colts and the Packers. Colts oh, and the Packers right. play their fourth stringers to kick <laughs> off the NFL season. Well, but here's the, well, but hold on, hold on. Play. Here's the thing, though. It like I'm sure the fans of those teams are probably upset. But here's the thing: it is important because the coaches get to see those young guys trying to make the roster, trying to be special teams players in the first live setting, and so. It, who it's fucked up for them mainly is those kids those who's guys like hanging on, yeah. from like 65 or 60 to 80 on the roster that's fighting for those spots. But are they not giving them any, like they're not giving them a makeup game? That's just, they're just going to have three, pre- three preseason games out each? No, no, if you play in the Hall of Fame game, you get five games. So oh, they okay, still okay. are going to play four. Okay. But yeah, I, I mean, I, not that I've heard of as far as the makeup. And the preseason game starts next Sunday. Mm-mm. No, Friday. This, Thursday. Thursday, yeah, Thursday. Oh, Thursday. Hey, I'm going to the game Dang, on Friday. I'm going to pencil in. I got to see RG3. Here. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. <coughs> see, I was, 7 I, p.m. See, I was going to try to go to the, the Rams-Cowboys, but... Is your Marcus Russell starting? Yeah. <laughs> starting that fat burger. He could be the kicker. Huh? Him and Janikowski have a way off. Janikowski's been the best player oh. in the Raiders for the last so, 15 for the, yes. years. Okay. Since Khalil Mack is 95. on the roster, so I'm going to need I'm you to I'm talking relax. about for the last 15 years. Yeah. He's been on the team for one year now. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. All right. Two years. Two years, all right. Janikowski's okay. been your post Khalil boy. Mack did something that no one else okay. has ever done in NFL history. He is made he the best player the of the team pro now? Team at two spots. Yes. He's the best player of the team now. Take him off now. Janikowski's been the best player on the Raiders <laughs> franchise the, tag. Period. Okay, he's the only person on the roster for since from like four years ago. So when did he, when did he get drafted? <laughs> like ninety eight. And he got yeah, drafted yeah, high. Yeah, ninety eight. He was and it yeah, was first, first round. First round. It pick. was worth yeah. it too. Uh, okay, that's, he has that's the, not true. He might have the most points in in Raiders history. As he a might. Player. He does. Yeah. Have, he does. Yeah. <laughs> he's a Hall of Famer. He's the best player on the Raiders. He's going to pick a kicker in the first round. He's Gary. the greatest Raider of all time. Gary, oh, okay. Uh, There's no, about, man. They, they got probably the most Hall of Famers in the entire league, so I'm going to need you to chill out. Yeah, he's the greatest Raider of all time. Uh, <laughs> it's close. He is. Yeah, okay. It's close. If you, you're a Raiders fan, you don't have – is he number 11? You two wackos need to chill Is he out. number 11? You two wackos need to chill out. All thing I think of is Marcus Allen. But this conversation started out with talking about RG3. We're going to talk about NFL next it week. It started talking about RG3 and then talking nonsense. So I guess this is the nonsense. Show. Rich Gannon? Rich Gannon? <laughs> Rich Gannon. He was pretty good. That Rich Gannon, RG3, and Janowski. They're like the big three. Janikowski, you freak. What what you? What? <laughs> <laughs> he must want some more shoes from you. They got shoes on Don't the brain the all the shoes. time. You know? <laughs> and Janikowski. <laughs> Big three, know. the Raiders. Big three, Mount Rushmore. We're gonna do. We're gonna do uh, Raiders, Mount Rushmore. <laughs> yes. Janikowski's on it. Yes, and, Hills. and Rich <laughs> and Rich Gannon's plaque is Tony Staragusa smashing him in the smithereens on the ground. Um, and and Chucky's up there too. Oh, Gruden, yeah, he. Nah, up there they don't too. like. They don't like him. I mean, the fans like him, but I don't think the front office likes him. We gonna we gonna definitely do a sneak this NFL preview, sneak this style, sneak this in a little while. So we got hard knocks coming. When is that? Tonight? Tonight. No, nah, last night. Tuesday. Oh, oh shit. It's on Tuesdays. Okay. It's recorded. I think I max records it, so I'm going to watch that tonight. It was, I don't know. Was, I watched it. It was kind of like a... It's kind of whack. It was I don't want to say it was though. whack. It just seemed like... It it's whack. cool to me because it's in L.A., and I grew up in L.A., so it's good to see a team back in L.A., and they're showing like beach scenes and cats at the beach and doing they all that kind the, of stuff. That's how, that's how it looks they like They got right? any personalities? But I, but I don't... It was like... It's something... Yeah, it's like maybe that's what it was. It was like missing... Like, no personality? Uh, what's his name? Jeff Fisher is just dry. The one the you need to watch anyways. is the Cardinal one because your boy, I've heard that's your amazing. boy is I don't got Amazon. a real one. I already know that. Though. Another, we all know another that. One. We know he's a real one. Which one? Another one. Rich Bannons. What's his name? <laughs> I don't know why I said what? that. Arian Bannons. <laughs> Whatever. I know he's a real one, though. Okay, Bruce Arians. Bruce Arians. Whatever. He's tight. <laughs> Take another uh, I've, heard, I've, heard that, I've heard that show's actually really good. Because it, well, number one, he's a real one, and number two, he's entertaining. Like listening to him ah, talk to the team. He can get, he can make you run through a brick wall. 
don't know. Jeff don't Fisher know has been overrated forever. Forever. Right? He's yes. an awful coach. I mean, it wasn't overrated as a defensive back, as a player, but yes, as a coach. I thought that uh, the Texans <laughs> last season, like, I, I enjoyed watching the Texans. Is that who it was? The Texans was kind of boring last season. You thought so? It was okay. Our Knox is exciting every year, but it's there's something exciting. about this year that's just weird. I don't yeah, know. JJ Watt. It was JJ Watt, Watt was Watt. like pretty plain, yeah. But it like the stuff about like Hopkins, like the quarterback controversy stuff. Um, I thought yeah, their coach was I think, super. See, quarterback controversy is is whack when both suck. Like, yeah. I think Tavon Austin is going to be. I did like it though. Like the what's their coach's name? I can't. Think, Brian. Who? Oh, you know Texas uh, coach. Texas coach. Bill something. Bill Bill Buckner. <laughs> Bill Buckner. Bill Simmons. He came from no, Penn, he came Bill from Penn Simmons. State. Yeah, whatever his name is. I can't remember his name. I know who he was Bill, entertaining. Bill O'Brien. Bill O'Brien. Bill O'Brien. There you go. He's a, I like him. Yeah, he was entertaining. I liked Bill O'Brien. Yeah, because he's another one who's like no nonsense. I guess Jeff Fisher's kind of no nonsense, but he's just it was corny. I don't know. He's corny. He's not. His must not be in the way. That's a, why I can't take him serious. He's not a real one like Arians. Will, like Arians will let you know. Yeah, you're right. But you know, it's not too many real ones out here. It's me. Is Bruce Arians. <laughs> and uh, Spike Lee. Well, that's it. Actually, I don't like Spike Lee that much. Okay, that makes sense. So <laughs> really no sense. <laughs> <laughs> so is anybody that upset about the Hall of Fame game being being canceled? I mean, I probably would, I wouldn't. Upset. Have, I wouldn't watch it anyways. I would have watched I some was. of it. I mean, I, I would have watched. I would have watched the first quarter. Yeah, I didn't even know it got canceled because I was like, I'm gonna watch it. I watch it every single year, but yeah. I forgot until George texts and when he said whatever he was like about being canceled, I didn't even know it got canceled yet. I had to look it up. And I was like, oh, crap, I'm missing the game. I turned it on there, and it's canceled. I'm like, ah, jeez. I don't know, man. I feel bad for the people who, like, that might be the only game that they see. So, well, somebody, year. I don't know, somebody I know was either at the airport or, some, yeah, somebody I know was at the airport in Cleveland, and people were showing up. What do you mean? To go to, to the game. Oh, yeah, now, yeah. that sucks. <laughs> I mean, if you sucks, go out of your way to go to the game, yeah, exactly. Game ball, that's terrible. <laughs> but that's why, like, it's whack that they're like, oh, we're giving them refunds for the game ticket. What about my hotel? What yeah, about my exactly. flight? It would have been paying for What about everything. my, like, day off work? Especially like, with something that stupid. I don't know if it's a field turf field or an actual, like, grass field. I think it's field turf. When they were, like, yeah, scraping were, it, it yeah. was coming off the ground because they, they were, said like, the rubber pellets. Shoveling stuff like The rubber pellets is what was, like, mixing with the paint crazy or something. Yeah, nah, they could. Morons. They could get. Whoever made those decisions had to have got fired. They could get these hands around their neck. Pause. Man. <laughs> Yo, you're having a problem <laughs> putting your beer in your mouth. Pause. Man. Uh, I don't know, man. I wasn't, like, upset. It doesn't matter. With the NFL. No, no, I'm not upset. I'm saying, <clears> like, <throat> I would have, if I was going to oh, the if game, I was going, I would have oh, been oh, I was going, I would have went on the field. Yeah. Like, they would've would've taken me, something would have had to happen. I would have asked my wife. I would have said, is it okay if I just run on the field? I'm probably going to get arrested. <laughs> no. But it would have been all right. I asked her. Like, you got to do stuff like that when you get married. When we were in a club in Vegas and we were going to leave, I said, yo, is it okay if I get kicked out? I'll just jump on top of the bar and let the bouncer throw me out. She actually gave me the green light. But my brother-in-law was like, no, 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 no. If I went to the Hall of Fame game and they canceled it, I would have ran out on the field and, like, done something. I would have had to do something. If I went to the Hall of Fame game and they canceled it, Aaron Rodgers and Andrew Luck better alternate throwing me passes. Something would have had to happen. When I'm running routes. It, something would have had to happen. I mean, you bought, you, they bought all that <clears throat> merchandise. I see kids that stand with their face painted, and then it's like it's canceled. Like, it, that's garbage, but... Hey, it doesn't even matter. The NFL doesn't care. Like it doesn't hurt the NFL. Nothing can hurt the NFL. I don't like, care what. Play it is. all those like Actually, scrubs. actually, <laughs> I did read something about um, the TV deal. May come back. Like ESPN is losing ten percent or twelve twenty percent of their subscribers every year or something like that. By twenty twenty one, supposedly they'll only break even. On based on all the money they make versus what they pay out for rights fees. How are they losing subscribers? You mean cable wise? Everything. Because people are going to like these. TV? No, no, no. People are going to like Slingbox and oh, like, you know, oh, canceling yeah, everything sense, and going yeah. to Amazon and yeah. Netflix. Because I mean, the millennials don't want cable fees and whatever else. You I know mean, what I mean? If you really think about it, like. That's I mean, actually, I, sh- I should have brought that topic up before. That if, would actually have been a good topic. I mean, that is a good topic. But yeah, I mean, I watch. The only thing I have my cable for really is sports. I pay $60 a month to watch some Suns games, every Browns game, and Indians when they're on ESPN because I have MLB TV. Some Suns game? You worship the Suns and you don't watch all of them? It's hard to watch all of them when your team's that bad. I, I mean, watch I watch. All <laughs> games, I mean, I watch. 
a part of almost every Suns game, but I. So I guess oh, we can get in. New Balance. Yeah, we can get in. Well, our, we, Asics New Balance. I think we should eight. talk about that like NFL TV deal next week, probably. Okay. Next week, tune in next week for NFL TV <laughs> deal. I don't know, man. We got a lot the to talk ESPN about. Thing. We got a lot of things. We got a lot of things. We got to talk on. about the Olympics too at some point. Because we got to talk about Olympics. We got to talk about upcoming Hall of Fame voting again. We do. Yeah. We got to talk about our NFL preview. Oh yeah. yeah. What about we talked about Hall of Fame game? What about the players who actually got inducted? Like I didn't see who else was up for was the it? thing. Brett Favre, who, Marvin Harrison. Yeah, the uh, hey, hey, Marvin Orlando. Harrison is also a real one. <laughs> Mar- Ar- Orlando Pace. Hey, Orlando Pace. Some jokes when uh, he was up on stage, all the memes uh, fell over. He was, wasn't he ever, a, somebody put, wasn't he ever a, a case one time? And then someone else tweeted back, is that more than one? <laughs> yeah. I ain't making fun of no Marvin Harrison, though. He's an actual real one. All right. He's. Hey, South Philly. He's He's got problems. Uh, you know, Favre. South Philly, where you at? Favre out there. But I'm sure he out there thinking he could still play. But I don't know, man. He could play in the, in the commercials with them Lee jeans on, huh? He could play in them, uh, what's that, golf, the senior tour. <laughs> um, A6 New Balance, they suck. <sighs> I think there's only one person in the room who will say that they don't suck anymore. Who's that? That's George. But well, hold on a second. <clears throat> we just had like a conversation a little couple minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, about you guys are just so excited for all these space boots and Jordans now and like I not buying runners. I said I was excited on, for uh, Hold on. Let me finish. I said I like them. You say you copping, you not copping uh, Ultra Boost and Boost and Runners. You copping other stuff. That's yeah, I got to buy a car. I understand and that. A- but you also said you bought Griffies and you want 96s and whatever else. So I think you guys have changed. All no. right? That's my point. Okay, first of all, you know I buy a Simple lot of Simple has not I worn a, a runner of- in here in probably about a good month. That is true. It's out of control. He's been wearing nothing but like high tops and that, stuff that, that doesn't even him, go though. with shorts, uh, number him. one. Unless that's you're 6'8. I wore Ultra Boost like right. three, four weeks ago. Lies. Okay, that's not true. No, you didn't. I wore my creams. You wore cream, but it, okay, well, pause, first of all. But, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but you wore that longer than three weeks ago. I don't know if I've ever seen you wear Ultra Boost. <laughs> I've wore Ultra Boost a couple times at the show. Oh, I don't know, man. He did I wear, didn't say he did I wasn't, wear chocks. Yeah, but I didn't, say, I didn't say I wasn't, I didn't want to cop those. I'm just not right now. I got to buy a car. I got to buy some other stuff. I'm going out of town a few times. I got to buy my Cowboys <laughs> tickets. Got to buy 14s. I'm not buying no 14s. What 14s are you guys talking about? I, I said I like them. Oh, the green oxidized? Yeah, no, whatever, the whatever. black ones, not the green ones. Yeah, black and isn't it oxidized green? No, or oxidized something? green is the all white with the oxidized green on them. So what are these called? They're just black and, I don't know. I don't Altitudes? Know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Altitude 14s. I don't know, man. I like them. You ain't I'm not copying. Copy. You're right. I'm not copying. You, you, okay, let's just talk about 14 for a second just because you f- like – Flipped out when those Ferraris came out. A week later, you yeah, wore one time. They were really like, they hard suck. To wear, and this is the same exact example. No, these are OGs model. This isn't like a new model. This is an OG doesn't model. Matter. No, Ferraris hard it to wear. Matter. All right, okay, back to A6 and New Balance. Okay, they still cracking. I'll wear it them depends what like... you mean by cracking. Like, are you talking about new pairs coming out, or you if you have something that's super dope, are you going to continue to wear it? Well, that's different. I, okay, well that's what I'm asking. What are you talking I don't, about? There hasn't been an ASIC in a while. That I've like sat at a computer to try to buy. What about New Balance? What's that, the no, last? What's the that, last? That, now, see, that's or I New agree Balance. with. You think I was going to say the opposite? No, but that's, that's true. Yeah, you did. Okay, what? not ASIC. You're what? Right. New Balance? You did. Which ones? The Cracker Jack barrels. <laughs> oh, I did. I did. I, yeah, I bought those Red Sox. You ones. bought? I those. don't even know what that yeah. means. Oh, those are dope. I did buy those Red Sox. You're I don't right. know if they're dope. I wouldn't pay. See, here's my thing. They're the dope. last like shoes I bought have all been under retail. I don't know if I'm getting spoiled by this or what, but like, no, because that's how it should be. Well, I understand, but how it should be. Well, on a on a collab shoe, you're probably not going to get it under retail. But yes, those ones that he got are actually dope. But there's no way I would pay 170 or 190 or 240 or whatever New Balance is charging these days. If you don't have boost in your shoe and you're trying to charge 180, you could go fly off that ship and stick your finger up. 180 would be nice for a New Balance. New Balance is in the 200s, 220s, 240s. That's what I said. New Balance. What's the last ASIC or New Balance you bought, George? I can't even think Mm. of the last one I bought. I can't. Might be the might be the eight ball ones. No Concepts 8 ball That's the last one you bought Might be What no. else did we get Last one I bought Or was... maybe those all reds oh, The yeah. snake all reds I think the last one Yours I got was... Were diamond Tiffany's Oh uh, yeah, yeah Maybe that and did I just come sold after that them for like That months. was the one the Before Yeah before the crack, the Cracker Jack box Those ones. are dope Those are the ones I got before no, they're awful No they're not awful They maybe might the be hard ones. to wear For like The sagas Maybe hard to wear The sagas are fire The fives The fives I can't I don't like the fives at all I don't think you like fives at all anyways. Anymore. I do like fives. I got I got some fives on my list. 
every time I throw a five on, it just doesn't. I don't know why it doesn't feel right. It was at one point I thought the greatest shoe ever, and I would never wear anything else again but a gel i five. There's only two that I put on. And I yeah, but then you put ultra good. boost on your foot. Yeah, but you know I what? Stopped fives, before that, fives actually. Oh well, whoa! Don't don't get crazy now. I know you had a few beers. I, if you about to say they're more comfortable than Ultra Boost, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say they're more comfortable. But I'm gonna say like no. out of all the shoes when I, I put own, that, a, a Gel Light Five is probably the next best thing to an Ultra Boost. Nah, this is when you buy one doesn't of these. even close. Anything with Lunar is second. Honestly, I don't like Lunar. When you buy this, you, you don't put like this the on shoe, your but foot, it's more uh, comfortable. You put that on your foot. I don't know. I don't know, man. I can't think of the last ASIC I bought, I think, was the Diamond Tiffany's. Before that, I don't know. And those, I put those Air Max 1 flying it, the ones I just got on, that can't joint. I don't know what they do. Trust me. There I don't know no, whatever they did with it. but impossible. I'm not. Why would I make that up? You tend to You lie. know that. Okay. There is no Nike with well, the word <laughs> Air. There's never been a Nike Air sneaker that's been comfortable. Ever? Ever. ever. What are you ever. talking about? Yes, sir. I don't know. There hasn't. I can't Wait. think of one Nike Air sneaker with air in it that's been comfortable. Air Max Nineties aren't comfortable. No, they're just regular. They're air not. Max they're not uncomfortable. uncomfortable. They're not. Comfortable. Have you not? Have you not put? Don't you have Full Air Max air. Like, like Air Max Fourteen or Twenty yeah, like Fifteen? Twenty Fifteens are comfortable. super comfortable. Not comfortable at all. They're super comfortable. They're just regular. They suck so because mean, they what pop. What does that mean? <laughs> when I put on a pair of Boost, I'm like, holy shit. When I put on a okay. pair of Nike, we're not comparing it to Ultra Boost though. It can I'm be like, like third or fourth. You so, said it's not it's comfortable. That's like different air. between no. like number one and like not air, comfortable. Air is probably on like if you made a top eight of most comfortable shoes, Air is probably seven. And that's a fact. Number one is Boost. Number two I mean, is Lunar. Number three, that. Reebok DMX. No, number facts. false. Yes, no. it is. No, yes, it is. No, no, yes, it is. No, we we don't you need to have this conversation. Have you guys ever? You should know. You have Reebok DMX. I have lots of Reebok DMX. And I assume you have Iversons at some point. Yes. Iversons and DMX technology might be the original boost where the actual air went from the front to the back. Front to the back. Nike Air doesn't do that. Uh, I mean, (laughs) (laughs) I don't know what you want me to say to that. I'm not comparing a Nike Air and that shoe. I'm saying that's not the third shoe on the list. Third. The Kobe 8, number one, is way more comfortable than those. Everything you named except the first two. Comes and, basketball shoe. And you said all shoes. It's number and, six. And this shoe I have on right here. What'd Kobe's you say? Number, number six. Two? But that's Lunar, okay. man. That's, okay, that's so that's number list. two. That's number Kobe's two. number six? Kobe's number six. Kobe, no, it's not. Kobe's Zoom number six. Zoom Air is number top six. Top five. Zoom Air number six. But it's not a regular Zoom Air because it has a different insole, too. It has like lunar, lunar, lunar insole. insole. Oh, it's lunar. Yeah, it has like it's a lunar, lunar insole. So plus that's, that's cheating. Yeah. Like they got uh, Zoomer uh, and Lunar. Uh, bro. Okay. All right. Look, all right. I, look, Reebok DMX is number three. All right. And Gel I fives. He's right. Are com- super comfortable. It's super not, comfortable. It's not. Five. It's not there. But it's not like top four. But yes, it's right there. So what happened? I mean, what happened? It too was. Many, is it too many colors? Too many models? Too many collabs? I mean, it used to be like your two were basically Concepts and Kith. Basically, basically, like you had concepts and kids. Bait sometimes. Bait sometimes, like occasionally, like every like Saint Alfred actually had a couple of hitters. Saint Alfred had a Fire. couple of hitters. Um, then they kind of went away. I mean, in all honesty, like when I sat down to make my list of top ten, the first like fifteen that popped into my head were either concepts or Kith. Yeah. Actually, you know who else had a few really good ones. Um, that I'm just thinking of now is Extra Butter. Extra Butter had a couple. What they have? Which ones? When they did that Kill Bill pack, there was... There was Kill the, Bill was Extra Butter? No, it wasn't. The it? Kill Bill pack. They did a pack that they had like four shoes. They didn't do... It wasn't oh. the Kill Bills, not the oh. Saga, okay. the, the, the yellow and black Sagas, but they did like a pack like of Kill Bill themed shoes. I kind of remember it, but I don't And a, there was a pair in there that I know you wanted that didn't make my list. Those Copperheads, that blue... It was like that royal blue with the black, and it had the striped uh, midsole, yeah. the Gel Light 3 on it. That's the not Gel- on my list either. Yeah. I forgot about them. I did too until just now. Don't you have them? I do have them. Oh, I thought uh, you uh, I have a couple shoes hard that to wear. are hard to wear. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't wear any of my Asics, but I, I refuse to get rid of them. I got rid of the ones that like are hard to wear that I'm never going to wear, but I, I'd still like them, but they just made too many colorways. And like, there's a lot of dope colorways that sit and go on sale, which is not a bad thing, you know, but... We still not cop it. Well, I mean, there but, was a point in time when everything ASIC sold out. Like a Christmas pack came out. Everything. Santas, reindeers, and elves, gone. All that. Kith, p- Kith put a tweet out, gone. It Those, had a period. It had a period. Uh, oh, of my time. God. Where everything, like general releases were flying. And the prices increased from like 80 bucks on the Gel Light 3 when, it, when this, the period started to like now they're like 
a hundred and thirty each. Yeah, it's like a fifty dollar increase over or fifty dollar increase over a three year period, and they were flying. Like now they sit. They came out with that salvage denim pack where they did the gel site, the gel light three sitting everywhere, sitting everywhere. I gel think they're five. all kind of tight. I'm I think surprised you all of them like are kind of tight. Which ones? The Those denim pack, that salvage denim pack. Oh, they did no. the gel light five. You made fun. Of, you made fun of denims forever. You can't buy denims now. No, I didn't make fun of denims. Forever. I just think they're the greatest things ever. Like those black salvage. Fives are fire. Are fire. Oh yeah, they're all right. The, the blue, white ones. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Even tight. back then, I wouldn't have moved for them though. And those gel. No, the, back then, we probably would have. Yeah. Got those. And the gel. I bought those Ronnie Fike denims and sold them. But those ones aren't better than those to me. And the gel sites. The gel sites are fire. In that gel pack sites too. too. But gel sites shoes. Yeah, they're all right. I got tried gel sites on at Kith. They were awful. But right. that shoe and the, comes one out. Of the most uncomfortable shoe. That shoe ever. comes out three years ago. They're gone, gone. and they're reselling for gone. three hundred. These are facts. And I, if I could get a pair for maybe like 60 bucks, I'm oh, yeah. I look on eBay once a week, see if I could get a pair for like 60, 70 bucks. I think one problem that happened too was the fact that like certain sneakers, they, they didn't stay limited. Like the ones that like were just that kith. Like yep. they release everywhere now. Mm -hmm. I mean, like George has sent that one, like the cockatoos. I thought they were strictly kith. And they came out on what? What'd you send that? What was that extra butters? Concepts? Uh, everybody. It came out everywhere. It and even said Kith exclusive, too, uh, which didn't make And then, sense you know, and then not only that, but the increase in the productivity. Like, I mean, they pr would produce, I don't know, I think they were at one point like three to 400 pairs each at Kith, and they went up to like five, 6,000 pairs. Like, yeah, but he still sells out of stuff, though. Oh, yeah, he, he still that. sells out of stuff. Other places might not, but yeah, he but still he does. He sells out because of his pictures, all yeah. right? Yeah. Kith picks. Well, I mean, it probably. I mean, I would say it's a reputation over that, but yes, they do have. Yeah, yeah, we've discussed it I mean, multiple times. Well, about in the, all the reality, yeah, yeah. He, he brought he brought Asics. He revitalized Asics. Like, that's a fact. And I will say, you walk into Kith, you will buy anything out of there. I mean, that's how nice that store is. Yeah, I would walk in there and buy anything. So I, I definitely believe it. I don't know. I'm not copying anything anytime soon. <clears throat> I'm definitely not paying. Like I want to do a, a New Balance ID, mm -hmm. but it's too much money. Like they had a code. Um, <laughs> a buddy of mine bought those ones that I sent in the group chat the other day. I think he ended up getting them for like 184, which isn't. I mean, it's still a it's hitter. Not that bad. It's not that bad. And though. plus, it takes three days. They three days for those in like three to five days. Yeah. And Nike is what? It's three to three six to, months. Three to eight months. Yeah. Like it takes forever. <laughs> I don't think that is as long as it used to be. I think it's only like three or four weeks. When now I got those Kobe All Star game ones, it took forever. Yes, yeah, but you're impatient. Yeah, but people didn't get those last game Kobe's. Those Mamba whatever days, they didn't get those. That did take a while. That like might have been the longest yeah. ones ever. All right, people were like in Facebook groups and like, stuff. Like, I forgot that even them. existed, and then people were posting. People pictures were of them. already trying to get rid of theirs, and people were just <laughs> getting them. Yeah. I'm like, there's a guy selling for under retail, and this guy's just getting them. And people got them in the mail, and were like, "Hey, anybody want these before I take them back to Nike?" Yep. Like I, I bet, saw that. I bet that might have been the group. most return. What shoe was that? The, the very last game. You know they made like that print for the last. Oh ID? yeah, no, those joints were selling for like three fifty or four hundred. Oh, no, they weren't. No. Maybe they maybe that, after that the ID closed, after the game. But when when people but started getting after, in the mail, people were like, "Hey, anybody want these, these for two fifteen? Because I didn't see that. I back. saw them. It's, I saw the prices. It was the probably roof. one of the most returned IDs ever. <laughs> All right, I don't. I, I saw so many people saying they were going to return them. I'm gonna I, go to, I'd actually buy a pair, a couple of them that like looked decent, but. I might go to Arizona Mills after this, try and catch a pair for sixty nine nine nine. And just to see what they go. If you see a pair of those ever sixty nine nine nine, you text me and I'll PayPal you. <laughs> uh PayPal ready. So A6 Still good or suck? I mean, it depends. It, it, w I haven't I seen. I haven't right. seen a design. Well, no, okay. So here, here let me some fire. Here, here, let me put it this way. On. Again, like I said, the last f however many things I've bought is all under retail, but fire, fire runners, all under retail. I'm not paying. The only shoe I'll pay retail for is something Ultra Boost or something with Boost in it, Ultra Boost or uh, or NMD. That's it. I'm not paying retail for anything else. And I haven't seen anything that's come out that I've been like, oh, my God, I need it as far as gel light fives go. I'm not buying gel light three. It may be a gel site, maybe if it's dope, but. Sagas. Mm. G2s. GT2s are tight. GT2s are tight. GT2s are, tight. GT2s yeah, are ones, probably the one ones that I really models. wanted that. It, I mean, it only released at one spot. I think it was those overkill, uh, like burgundy, like oh, Asian yeah. flower or whatever it what was. Those, I don't those, know, those were flames. Those are tight. Those and... Wait, were those G2s? G2s? Those are, no, those are was, sites. Oh, they were yeah, sites. Yeah, 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 site. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Dope. The only GT2s I wanted were the ones I got, Brazils and Super Reds, and I'm never going to get Super Reds in my life, so... <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much it. That's what I could think of, but...
Anyways, so then I guess it all comes know, down man. to like, yeah, like I think all my stuff that I have that I love, like a lot of the stuff on my list, I'll still wear. It's still like fire to me. Like I'll still find a way to to wear it. But there's nothing like lately that I'm that I'm even trying for or that looking actually, for. That actually might be a good point, though. I think, you know, Adidas is obviously in direct competition with Nike. Just yes. Period. But I think they might have like silently killed Asics them yeah. without even trying. Yeah. Like, because I wouldn't buy another runner without boost. I would still buy a Nike, like you said, a Flyknit Air Max One. I would buy that off of nostalgia, and it's Flyknit. It's an Air Max One, one of the greatest sneakers. I'm telling you, of go all to the time, store and try it on. And a Flyknit, I promise you, is one of the most. You know, shoes over the ever week, like as I've seen pictures and like I never they off the hook. They're tight. I just want to pay for them. I don't want to pay for them. No, no, I no, no, pay no, no. Like, I'm talking just comfort. I'm, I'm not even joking. I want to pay like eighty bucks for them. I hope you get them for eighty bucks. I got them. Under retail, not quite that cheap. They're one sixty. I don't know if you're gonna get them half price. You got them if for one sixty? If you no no no, oh. that's retail. I'm like Jesus Christ. No no no, that's retail. Oh. No, you if you get uncurved, maybe you can get them for ninety six plus the uncurved fee. Is that what you got them for? No, you, got you already know. You already know I didn't get a response on that. So I got I got them one thirty five shipped. Yeah, that's not bad. Was that was that movie called about the curveball? What the rookie of the year? I don't remember. That's one of the greatest. Nah, movies of the all one as well. He, I think he's talking about the one with Clint Eastwood. And yeah, what's Justin that movie called? What's that called? <laughs> trouble with the curve. You got trouble with yeah. the curve, man. Yeah, you got curve too. <laughs> you talking about when Clint Eastwood trying to like be friends with his daughter or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're baseball scouts. Yeah, got to do with that. Was it like Amy Fisher? What was her name? I think it was one of them redhead ones. Yeah. Amy Fisher, or Amy Adams, or something? Amy Adams, somebody. Trouble with that it's curve. It's the Fisher. Me. I don't know who they are. Uh, <laughs> Hey man, I think they still all right. Price is too high, too, too many high. on the market, too many. And you know what they did? Nothing is. You I know, said, nothing's dope you know what? Came out. You know what they I also did? They used too many of the same colors too many times. Too many times. Too many mints. Uh, oh my god. Too many like pinkish, salmonish, you know, yeah. rose goldish colors. Yeah, out there. Well, that was the problem. Is that like you know this like a kith would come out or a concept would come out, and then an ASIC general release would come out that was like too close. Yeah. So it was they they killed it. They killed the monochrome. They killed like they collabs. Killed they killed. I mean, they, I think they killed themselves. So nah, I don't think monochrome's done yet. Because no, because if you go look, if you're talking now, about Asics or New Balance, maybe, but not yeah, no, in, not in no, that no, 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 not in general. No, no. But if there is some monochrome, monochromes will fly. Will fly. Yeah. There is some monochrome stuff. Well, it'll fly, but the monochrome stuff for Ultra Boost is kind of ugly. Though. Yeah. Like I'm not. If the reds don't match, like what? Properly, if the res don't matter, I'm not. Yeah, but a lot of shoes are like that. It's not Independence Day. But one thing on one thing on Ultra Boost. I mean, but you're talking about the best all red shoe of all time, besides that and the Yeezy Two. I mean, like Ultra Boost then Yeezy Two. Yeah, but I will tell you this. No, no, no. I'm talking about for an all red shoe, Air Max Ninety Hyperfuse and Yeezy Two. I mean, but so there's not many others that have all reds where they match the same. On the Ultra Boost talk, wear Ultra Boost because. A pair of my first pure boosts are starting to yellow, and you ain't gonna want to mess with them after they start yellowing. So I don't care about that. Wear that. I don't know how that happened. I said I don't see how that happened. You must you must keep those in like the the bathroom, the shower moisture. <laughs> no, because that's impossible. You'll see. You'll see. It'll start. Right. Hap- it'll happen to you. Well, we we still think they're fire, but you know we ain't. Nobody's mo- Nobody's checking for it. Nobody's, Nobody's moving for, for it. it. I'm not checking for it. Nah. No, not checking for it, but you know, you just kept. But one of old, those. but there are a, there are four or five older shoes that I do still look for on a semi regular basis that I would cop for the right price at the right time. It's just funny because you don't ever just go to the store and see a Gel Life Five just like yeah. They, well, that at no point was, were they ever never. like that really. Is it no. like that now? Can you know you who go did? to like a finish line? Or something? Um, you know what? I actually, went, foot action. I actually went to uh, when I was in the mall foot the other action. day. Foot Action did carry like Jelly Threes and stuff like that uh, for a while. Yeah, but like Journeys did. Journeys did. Jelly yeah, Threes. Did, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Foot Locker actually had Ultra Boost and NMD sitting. I mean, not like the ones that anyone would want, but it was pretty funny to me to see that stuff sitting. Well, like them. Well, Arrowhead Everyone was running for that stuff. Arrowhead Mall had NMD sitting. The blue ones. I think, I think they're still sitting. At least. I went there a couple weeks ago, and the blue ones were still on the shelf. So, and I didn't even reach for what, them. Uncaged or the NMD just blue. But oh, oh yeah, yeah, whatever they are. Um, all right. So, top ten. Let's get into it. Honorable mentions. 
George, want to go first? No, nah, I'm not going first. I'm still adding stuff on here. Yeah, slap this. Dang. <laughs> All right, I'll go first then. Finding these Ooh. gems, B. Man. All right, had honorable mentions. I had right. A6 GT2 Super Red and A6 GT2 Brazil. I have the Brazil ones. I think one of the dopest shoes <laughs> the ever. Brazils are fire. I mean, they're fire. 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 It probably should have been in my top 10, but. I never wear mine. mine the I got blue a size one? kind of big, yeah. The all blue, the blue I got, gold. Those mine, are fire. I got a size I have both 10. of them. I sold them. You sold the blue ones? I, have oh, both. That's I right. bought the whole pack. Yeah, yeah super reds. No, no, no. That no, Brazil the, pack. And the gel like three. The, you, yeah, the, the, the gold. The, 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 oh, the, oh, whatever. Yeah. Olympic. World, gold gold one World Cup pack. Gold ones in my top 10. Yeah, gold ones number 10. Gold ones are fire. I have both of them. Sold them. You want me to just do my five, bottom five? I'll just keep going. Yeah. I'm going to mention GT2 Brazil Kith, GT2 Super Red. Uh, number ten, A six, Gel Light three, the gold, fire, KFE, whatever. Which one? Kith, oh, gold. that yeah. one that we just fire. Said. All right. I still want it, and I'm probably gonna buy yours at some point. Simple, but I just can't pull the trigger on them. Like I see them for super cheap sometimes, and then I see them for a lot. Uh, number nine, Concepts nine nine seven, Lux Goods, the all orange. Those, those are tight. super fire. But those were Luxury like three goods. Yeah, but yeah. those were like two forty. Weren't they like two forty two sixty? They all cost. Yeah. Jeez. Uh, number eight, Saint Alfred, fire. All right, Saint Alfred, uh, fifteen hundred. No, no, no. In New oh, Balance. the fifteen hundred, the maroon, the red, yeah, the maroon yeah, one, yeah. the red, the Elmo, tight. and it had like the okay. um, all right, like an off white laces. Yeah. I heard the like, like material yeah. kind of sucked. I never it's, seen it's like person. people would get oh, it. Oh no, I seen them in person one time. Yeah, they're all right. I think they're pretty tight. Um, number ten, nine, eight, seven. Uh, number seven, uh, five fifty seven, uh, Hypercats. Yes, I love those. You got those, right? Those are fire. Do you have them? Yeah. Oh. I love that shoe. <laughs> you talk about them like you, man, I need them. You I have them at the shoe. house. I love them. I, think I wish I had tight. doubles of that shoe. Um, and then number six is uh, my New Balance uh, 1600 Daytonas. Love those. Okay. I think those maybe could have been higher on my list, but I got to be consistent with my other A6 and New Balance that I've mentioned in the past. So just to recap. Bro, you're forgetting a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> number ten, there's a lot. Gel light three, there's a lot. Number yeah. ten, gel light threes. Number uh, number nine, concepts, luxury goods. Number New Balance. Number seven, I'm sorry, eight, Saint Alfred New Balance fifteen hundreds. The maroon or all red, whatever you want to call mm-hmm. it. Number. Wait, wait, you said Hypercats, right? Yeah. So that's a Bodega release. That is a Bodega, Bodega. release. All right, I don't know if you said uh, Bodega. Uh, number seven, um, Hypercats New Balance Fire, and uh, number six, um, sixteen hundred Daytonas. Extreme fire. Right. Those are fire. So, who's next? I'll go next. I don't think George is ready yet. No, nope, go ahead. So, this this honestly was a hard list to put together because there is probably 30 or 40 great collaborations done with Asics and New Balances. Uh, my honorable mentions. Some are just Kith. Some are just Kith. Like, um, I think like the one that really started bringing attention back to it, and it's in my honorable mention, not my top 10, the Salmon Toe Jelly 3. That Kith did. I think that was a great shoe. That's not in your top ten? No. Holy shit. It um, didn't even cross my mind. Yeah. What? I, yeah, I mean, it really The only one that crossed my mind was Mazarines. Um, and I still didn't even put those on my list. Yeah. And the only, like, another <laughs> shoe that brought kind of New Balance back was the Ball and Buck 574s. I love the green pair, uh, the green camo pair. I think it's a great shoe. Those suck. I love that shoe. Which one? The Ball and Buck you camo 574s. I five, hate seven, five, five seven four model. The shoe was whack. The color was dope. The color was dope, but the, mo- the model is whack. Those are hard to wear. That's a hard to wear shoe model. Um, I wish I didn't understand. There was uh, a period where five seven fives were like kind of tight. Everybody uh, had to have a pair, but nah. Another one. <laughs> they wasted that colorway. Another that shoe that I love is the GT two that we talked about that we both love. The high risk, that purple with the red. <sighs> I that like shoe those. was fire. Purple and red is kind of tacky, but for some reason it works. With it me. works for that. Um, I did like those. The Diamond Sagas, the Kith Diamond Sagas, one of my favorite shoes. That's one of the ones. Are we still in honorable mentions? Yeah, that's all one of the ones right. I look for all, right, all the time. 10. So top 10. Yeah, because I got a lot number of honorable 10, mentions too. Number 10, the oh, Heritage geez. Gel Light 3 by Kith. Like the, that? Everybody's calling them the What the Feegs. Came out around Christmas time. Oh, yeah. The like that's those. a shoe I that tried. if I could yeah, if I could have bought, I would have kept. Mm. Homage. Um, yeah. Number 9. Homage. Oh, you made the shoe, though. Homage. Number nine. Have you tried on a Gel Light 3? Uh, you need to try one. Uh, nah. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. The tongue thing or whatever. Number nine. Oh, these shoes have special meaning to me. 
Every the show mint has special meaning. To you. The mint Gelite Five Man, by Kid. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I have doubles of that shoe now, thanks to Greg and um, whoever the Bears quarter, Jay Cutler. Thanks to Jay Cutler and Greg, I now have doubles of that shoe. Hey, you shouldn't have took that from me. If you was a real <laughs> friend, you would have said, you know what, bro? Don't you would have took that those bag. motherfuckers. No, I wouldn't have. No. Second. no, I wouldn't have. I don't even think he, he would light them on fire now. He would light them on fire to get in. Uh, Which one? <laughs> Motorsport 6. You wouldn't even wear like those, those these days. Boys, them hospital joints. <laughs> he, would, he would light them on fire to get in. Uh, what's that What's that group? SFU. SFU. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get in SFU? But still, you and us? I don't want talk about this no more. Right, go ahead. <laughs> Um, number eight, no the C Note 998 Concepts. I love the C Notes, and it was a shoe. Fla- uh, 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 yeah, and it was a shoe that I wasn't gonna buy. Like I bought it. Last I know you minute. did not make that face. That's I love that one shoe. Of the, it's I one of the say best. Nothing about it. Huh? Yeah. I just don't know if it's in my top ten. Oh, I love that shoe. Mm, it looked kind of like a reconstructed. Like the piece, every piece was a different color. Like it looked like a hundred dollar bill. Stop. The new hundred dollar bill. Stop. That's no, what it was modeled. I'm thinking of the wrong shoe then. Yeah, yeah, you are you thinking of the wrong shoe. You are. You C-notes. might be thinking of the tannery mint. No, I'm thinking about the ones that are like all, they're like white, off white, a little bit of blue. They look almost exactly like the ones that you worship more than any yeah, shoe they, in history. Yeah, they honestly look like they do. They know. really do. Um, number seven. They didn't make my list. The Central Park 530. Yeah, fuck it. Right. <laughs> The which was? Oh, those! Oh, come on, the maroon, Ryan. the maroon from Central Parks. You those are like hey, fire. Hey, I gave those to my stepdad for his birthday. And he lost his mind. He was, oh my god, these are so dope. No, I love <laughs> that, that shit. That was shoe. so funny to see I him. I love that. He shoe. lost his mind when I gave him that. You told me you didn't like them. No, I didn't. I don't we like the Brooklyn Bridges. I don't like the Brooklyn Bridges. Oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, maybe he w- he one. has another one. The Brooklyn Bridges are dope. I don't know why you wouldn't no, like it. Like, I can understand like, how you like the one over that one. Yeah. But. No, I like the Brooklyn Bridges, but there's another one on my... There, I, I think the Daytonas are better than the Brooklyn Bridges. There's a lot better uh, than the Brooklyn yeah. Bridges. Yeah, Daytonas what? are right. But- there's a lot better than Brooklyn. The pictures of Brooklyn Bridges are better than they look in person. That's true. Way better. Yeah. I'm like, these are They look like mad. toothpaste. Maybe. In person, they look like toothpaste. Wait, wait didn't you get them? <laughs> they right, do look out. like toothpaste. They look like toothpaste. They chill look like, like frozen. Like, like yeah. They're like a light blue, not blue, yeah. whitish. They look like toothpaste. They kind of whack. Chill out. Um, chill out. Number six, the Three Lies Gel Light 3 Concepts. What does it look like? That's that one. They were made after the after a statue in Boston. It's like a green back, Sounds gold familiar. toe. Um, it's got like black and like green speckled laces. Great execution on a shoe. Great story behind it. They look awesome on. I expected to hear a lot of other stuff on this um, list. And these are Asics. These are Asics. Three lies. The Asics Gel Light Three. Three, three lies. By concepts. Uh, and why are you looking that up? Oh yeah yeah yeah. Those are tight. I'll, you know, how Gel Light 3s are another one on my honorable mentions. Those oh, gray joints. Like copper toes. Anyways, yeah, those are tight. Those are actually fire. Fire. Super fire flames. All right. Jesus Christ. George. Go for that much? You guys aren't going to like number 10, but I don't care. But I'm just going to do honorable mentions first. Honorable mentions. New Balance Concepts Tannery Mint. Uh, sorry, uh, 998 Tannery Mint. 998, yep. That's a good shoe. A6 Gel Light 5, Times Undefeated, False Flags. Wait a minute, that's, that's not in your top ten. That's probably that's probably Greg's number one. It well, it has to be in his top five because he had, it was in his like number two for like best shoes, best of, shoes all of all time. time. Yeah, yeah, one of those other lists. It wasn't uh, best shoes of all, best collaborations of all. time. Okay. I actually yeah, yeah, bet right, somebody yeah. earlier. No, no, no I can't shoe. put it in my top ten, and you'll you'll see why. I bet Trejo earlier that was going to be in your top five. Of course, it, it has is. to be. Has to be. He said dribbles. <laughs> you put water on it, dribbles off. And if and if off. and if any ASIC or New Balance you guys mentioned in the top, it wasn't in my top ten of that list either, though. I know, but Where's I'm saying my, oh. if you, no, you better what you're writing, bro. No, you double check it because I if know. you guys had one in the top ten, it has to be on your list now. But from before or from what? Before, if you had an ace, you could do oh, a collab, collab, yeah, 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 yeah. it has to be on yeah, your yeah. list now. Yeah. All right, so that one, uh, the next one, you already mentioned it. The New Balance Concepts Nine Nine Seven Luxury Goods. The orange one, super dope. Two forty, way too much money though. Super dope. Uh, I know you'll like this one. A six times Monkey Time Gel Light Five Sand Layer. Those, oh, are, those dope. are tight. Yeah. Those are super those are tight. tight. Yeah, honorable mention. They can't get in the top ten, but they're dope. Those are super tight. I wish I had those. 
It'd be tough to wear. I don't know what you wear it with, though. I don't know. Those probably, probably figure yeah. something. Those out. ones that I got and that then, I wore here are kind of hard to wear. Though. I know you guys would like this one. None of us would pay retail for it, and you might even hate it now because you hate Kayanos, but the A6 Ooh, A-Life Kayano uh, Marathons. I just don't know what those you guys are keep talking fire about. Those are fire flames. I need to look those, those gray up. ones with the blue and the yeah. red, Hold those on. are fire flames. Because, I would yeah. pay 75 bucks. Somebody said 75 bucks for those. <laughs> I'm doubling. I'm coming too. <laughs> I'm coming to see, man. Because y'all talk about these all the time. 75 bucks. You need a job. Anybody out there got them for 75 bucks, hit me up. Yeah, they're they're super dope. I just don't know if you like Kayanos anymore, but those are actual fire. I remember when the pictures came out. I mean, them is is fire. Those are fire. They're fire. Yes. But the shoe itself, oh, God. Those are fire. That color blocking, that gray, that shoe's fire. It's tight. I'm they glad you put that in. I was going to, but I had too many. They, they color that blocked three. it really well. They should have put that on the Jelly yeah. 3. They should have put right. that on, on clearance, and I'll buy all of them. <laughs> Asics, if you're listening, I know it's on the website. <laughs> put it on clearance. You got coppers. All right. Yeah, number, that's that. Number, pairs. number 10. New Balance times Kith. City never sleeps. I don't know if you guys are going to like that one or not. You got to look it up. The I just don't love that shoe. Like I don't dope. What color is it? It's like black with a blue oh, it's toe, a, it's right? Oh, it's a uh, 998, I think. A bla- it's like black with a blue toe, right? Let me, let me make sure. Oh. Yeah, it's like kind of Yankees colors. I, it's, I like mean, a it's fine. But Maybe it's, it's just... a 997. Let me look it up. I think it's a 997. I mean, I'm. it's like fine, but I don't know why people lost their minds over it. I mean, it's just, it's a plain It is a 998. Looking, it's, it's, a, it's like a different it's a design. 998. 998. It's a plain looking shoe. Oh, uh, yeah. It doesn't, it's just it, it doesn't suck. Uh, they're dope to me. And I mean, part of it might be because of the Kith picks or whatever, but those are dope. I'm <laughs> no, sorry. Uh, they're, they're dope. Those are super yeah. dope. I mean, uh, it, I, it, that looks like a general release, though. It looks like a general release. Yeah, that, and that's a problem. Like, it doesn't suck, but it doesn't look what like anything mean? special. I mean, it's just a white, navy yeah. blue, and black. It's nothing yeah, like Yeah, it's not anything like If great. Ronnie Fi would have released that back in the heydays or whatever, <laughs> when people were going crazy and did only like 500 pairs, they would sell for $800. That came out like Thanksgiving last year, right? Yeah, like not yeah. that long What's ago. No, is that what number is that on your list? That was 10. Like 10. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's why I said, like, you might not yeah. like that one. But I know I love the shoe, but. Uh, no, might not like it on my list at number 10. Uh, Number nine, A6 times Ronnie Feig, Gel Light 3, Flamingo. Absolutely. Yeah. Love the, That's color, a great love the color blocking. Love it's it. kind of hard to go wrong with the Ron, early Ronnie Feig. It it really I mean, is. I guess it's not that early, like five years it's ago. It's really right? hard to top those, like, classic Anything, Ronnie like, pre... Well, I have a bunch of them on here. So anything pre the Mint Cove Gel Light 5 pack, anything on there is acceptable. All of them. All of them. Um, number eight, A6 times Ronnie Five Gel Light Three Leatherback. Yes, I never was a fan of those. They don't suck, but I just they don't. Yeah, they I just like me. the little teal hints that they put on. I do there. like the, the teal hints and the gray toe. toe. Well, then you must. Okay. It is a nice shoe because it it, well, it helps it pop like yeah. on the but shoe. But they weren't better than Neptunes. Um, I would have to go back and look at the Neptunes because I don't remember. Neptunes were I, super those fire. are like gray and light blue or something. Yeah, I, yeah. I think I would pick the leather the leatherbacks over those. Yeah, I but do you like hate Neptunes. that shoe model. The GC2? I don't have any of those ones that are Neptunes with sockets. super exclusive like materials and everything. If I had one of those, I probably would keep it. The only one I ever bought was the soccer pack, the World Cup USA Golds or whatever. And I was like, man, it's too much gold. <laughs> what am I going to do with it's this? a lot of gold on that shoe, but it's super fire. Yeah, that yeah. shoe is super yeah, that's fire. I said, gray and light blue. Yeah. Leatherbacks is yeah, they're dope. I mean, I just wouldn't put well, that over. I mean, some of these are in the Hall of Flames, I think. Yeah. Leatherbacks. Yeah, yes. but we're not doing Hall of Flames. I know, but I'm I just know, saying, like, saying like, some of these yeah. are like already all in time, there. Like, they're all runners, times. Yeah. Uh, number seven, I mentioned earlier, A6 times Overkill, Gel Sight, Desert Rose. That's what they're called, Desert Rose, the like. The, the burgundy joints with the, the flowers. With the flowers. Those are fire. High? Those are fire. That's pretty high. That's yeah. high, but those are fire. I think the bottom look, your 10 should have been look it up. higher than that. Nah. Yeah, they're fire. And then number six, Simple already mentioned, New Balance times <laughs> Concepts 998 C-Note. Flames. If you Clapped. if you if you can't get, if you can't get a Kennedy for a reasonable price, get a C note. I mean, it's simple. Have you it's a seen the price shoe. on C notes though? C notes yeah, are, are, are through three, the roof. Three fifty or whatever. Yeah, they're it's high. Too high, man. Um, it's not a thousand. It's not nine hundred. Like it, the thing that makes no sense Kennedy about the anymore. Kennedy. Well, they are if you if you DS DS yeah. The the thing about the Kennedy that makes no sense is there was no line in the morning. Like people yeah, they, got there two hours before. Yeah. And there was like ten people in line, and then as the morning went on, then it got to like thirty people or whatever. But they had eight hundred pairs or a thousand pairs. I remember when the release came out that morning. If you would have been in Boston, you could have got as many pairs as you wanted. Yeah. Then they did the release the next day, and I don't know if it was over the phone or online. It might have been a phone release. 
and the phones were busy, like busy the whole time. You couldn't get through. So, you know, very few people around whatever nationally got them. That's but that's what makes me upset is it was so easy if we would have just been there to go get as many pairs as we wanted. Greatest sneaker of all time. <laughs> and you're not going to like where it is on my list. All right, so that was number five. So, <laughs> or that was number six. So, whoever's next, it can't be. It can't be too low. City never sleeps. Flamingo, leatherback, desert rose, C note. Those are called desert rose. Yeah, I mean, we couldn't figure out if they were women's or men's or what. I wanted to get them for Hannah, but the, they, were, they oh, only came right. out at one store. Yeah, that's right. And if and overkills in Germany, if you don't get them online, good luck. <laughs> uh, number five, Kill Bill sagas, fire. I mean, those are fire. Love not, not on my list, but I'm fine with it. And I yes. and I got those from Nordstrom's, I think. Like I thought you bought them. them from a person. No, I got mine. I had two pairs. I got one from a person. Oh, oh, J.W. Nordstrom. And one from a Nordstrom. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes, John Walsh. Yes. John Walsh Nordstrom. Um, Didn't you get them from Hunter? No, I, he was going to buy a pair from me. Uh, but I was going to uh, say, if you got them from Hunter, then you bought my pair because he bought my Kith pair. I don't remember. Something with him. Uh, number four, undefeated false flags. Dribbles. Of course, I'm under. Dribbles higher. Should have been higher on your list. It should have been number one. <laughs> those are beautiful. It's not, it's not, it can't be number right. one. I'm wearing those higher. to the airport this week. Right. <laughs> are yours still like immaculate condition or what? Mine are flawless. I love those. That might be my favorite shoe. I love shoe that I own. shoe too, but I mean, I, I mine are kind of beat. Though. I've worn them a lot. You better wear those. Yeah, you can wear yours like soccer games and stuff. I wore mine to work a couple times. You wore yours out. Hiking. Like no, I don't beach. know about that, but okay, yes. Uh, I went swimming in the ocean and number three, Stingray went inside. Number, <laughs> number three, <laughs> uh, J. Crew Infernos, 998. I knew that was going to be on I knew it was going to be on your list. I love those. Uh, you can't like I it more than the other shoe, though, okay. that you just said. You got to switch those. I know, but I, I love it. I, I had a hard time. It was deciding. the only J. Cruz shoe that ever sold out. That's the craziest part. Like maybe it stuff is? after that sold out, uh, but they sold I love out. Those. I mean, I, that might be the one. I think I, if, I probably pay still retail. I think I pay over two hundred for them. But I love those shoes. I don't care when they came out. They look like super red. They look <laughs> like super red. Like they were super red. The purple was a little odd, a little bit, but they were dope. Uh, number two, uh, July Five Blow Pack. I mean. To me, might be the greatest July Five of all time. All right, the greatest eight pack, ball. the eight ball, greatest pack, maybe put together. I never had a, owned I a lot of packs. Loved those. <laughs> I never got a lot of packs. So, but wrapped like cocaine with the original. What was it? A goat? What was the logo? A ram? A ram for what? On the cocaine wrapped in cocaine. Ram, it was like a ram, oh, right? Ram, right? It's a good question. I mean, a good, cobra. Yeah. It was a cobra. Oh, well, you're right. It yeah. was a cobra. Yeah. Wrapped in cocaine, laces in a vial. Stop. I mean, duct tape, man, come on. <laughs> Fire. And Concepts number, always does a good job with Concepts their boxes. Concepts is the but, I mean, best. At, at, I'm glad there wasn't any Diodoras on this list. I, I, I think it took about – This is A6 New Balance, but I would have had Diodoras on this. I think it took about six months to get to me, but other than that. It took a while, and that was one of the biggest boxes ever. And number one – They had to go through customs. They had to open it all up. They had to make sure – <laughs> they, <thought> it, <laughs> they were licking the shoes. <laughs> number one. <coughs> number one. The greatest sneaker of all time. Well. Time. Well. And even if it's not in your number one of all time, it has to be in top three of all time. Kennedy, New Balance, Concepts Collab. So much fire! So it much is, fire. It, it is, is, it is but, it's, but it's not number one much. shoe of all time. All though. time, it's it, not number one shoe it, of all time. It, it, okay, it's my number one of all time. But, I, but if it's not okay, it's my number one of all time. But if it's not y'all number one, <laughs> it has to be y'all number <laughs> number five, top five of all of time. All of shoes all or, or not all of all, shoes. No, not of all time. No. I've had to think about it. Did we do a list of all time shoes? Or we haven't done. Okay, we haven't done. All right, good. But you would have to put Kennedy in your top five if it's not your number one. I wouldn't have it in my top five. You of all time, no. All I, I, would have to, all I would time. Have to, I'd have to do a lot of thinking on that. All time, I could name because I, could I name probably would four, put Ultra yeah. Boost. I at name, this point, I probably would put Ultra Boost in the I top five, five, and you might be upset at that. But. No, <laughs> you told me to take Ultra Boost out of the Hall of Flames. Okay, no, I didn't. You what? said all white Ultra Boost out of the Hall of Flames. No, I did not. I don't remember. 
I, can I, said, five, I said all white Air Force you? One I can and like some other stuff. No, I on the top of my ten. head that are better all time than yeah. stop. Yeah. But those shoes you're thinking about, we have zero chance to get. If you're gonna put undefeated fours in it, stop. All right. No, I'll put nor like I'll put. Then what list was that? Then? I'll put, we did that list. That was I'll, collapsed. Though. Oh, okay. I'll put uh, bread ones, royal ones, shadow ones, black toe ones, and <laughs> stop. Chicago ones over those. Still not better. Still better. Royal ones? No, no. Uh, bread ones are definitely in the top five. Kennedys are in the top five. My number one is Kennedys. Okay. If you guys don't have Kennedys in your top five of all time, man, come on. No. I have to think about it. I'd have to, I really would have if to think about it. It wouldn't be my top five, though. Okay, if you it, guys, might not, it might be my right. top 15. We will have to do top 10 of all time to us, then, because you have to have at least one New Balance or one ASIC in your list. At least one. And if you're going to have one New Balance, it has to be Kennedy. It can't be any other New Balance out of 10. No, no, no. Well, we our, our you hold on. Okay, so we're not done with our list. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my bad. So. My bad. My bad. You're getting upset. All right, go, go. My bad. You're getting upset. You're getting I, I thought like this was unanimous. <laughs> no. All right, go. Just through. relax. All right. All right. Relax. All right, go. Through. My bottom five. Number five because it was like the shoe that bottom five. What? Top five. Top five because it was my because <laughs> it was my shoe that the first ASIC that I bought coming back after the Kill Bill stuff. I bought the Miami Jelloid Three Kits. Oh. I love that shoe. You got them on the release or what? I got them on the release. Uh-huh. On must have had a bot. I didn't even try. Did we try? Oh, I tried. I don't think maybe that's a great shoe. That pack was he great. Must have, but like, he's rich. He must have flown to Miami to the pop up store. <laughs> yeah. <It was> tight. <laughs> I, <laughs> that was a tight. Um, number four. They are, but not, not in the top ten. Number four was in Greg's list, the Hypercat 577 Bodegas. That's one of my favorite like shoes so much. ever. You I love that shoe. You know what it is, right? Yeah, I looked it that's up. It's tight. Though. I love that shoe. How could you say not uh, top five for uh, Miami's? Not top ten. Yeah, those they're better that? than those blue bottom tens you had. They're yeah, better than you those. You mean white or, bottom city never sleeps? Whatever. Yeah, they're right. better. Than they're those. better than those. Yeah, I mean that's number three in my top three. The Kennedy nine 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 concepts. It is. <laughs> it is the best. New Balance of all time. You okay. But you're you not going to you like number two. You didn't have my second favorite New Balance of all time in your top ten, and that's disrespectful, and you might have forgot about it. But when I get to it, you're going to be upset. I don't know what it is. No, you don't. I probably you're don't. not going to. Neither one of you like number two. Both of you are going to uh, like talk and squawk about it. You better it. not say like tan or black and tans or something weird. <laughs> number two <laughs> is the Salvage Denim I Gel Light like 3 Oh, Ronnie Fly? Yeah, I had that. I love that Sold shoe. It. It's not better than a Kennedy. It's better than a Kennedy. No, it's not. Not it, even close. It, it was, doesn't even belong in the top 10. All right. But it's a denim, so I understand why. <laughs> what? I understand why you put it in there because you love denim, but it doesn't belong in the top 10. No. If it's better than the Kennedy, for no. sure. No, it's not. Holy crap, bro. Oh, you yeah. Chill out, bro. <laughs> it is. Where are them you Canadian, Canadian denims in your list? You better chill, <laughs> Hey, What's I'm number serious. one? Where the, where hey, the what's your number one? Where the, where oh. the Canadian tuxedo hey. joints? The selfish <laughs> denims <laughs> are the Lee Harvey Oswald to your Kennedys. <laughs> okay? Bro. What's number one? Number one for me, the Rose Gold GT2. Oh, I think that's one of the best yeah, ASICs of all I mean, time. I mean, it's just an all-time classic. So all-time classic. you can't go classic. wrong with it. But you don't have that. And you can't get it. I can get it. <laughs> okay, we can get it, but they we don't, don't want to pay for it. They don't exist I don't anymore. Pay for it. Yeah, I don't no, even no, know no. if they exist. We, okay, the, no, none of those not, Ronnie uh, Feig ones exist and the, anymore. And the rose gold Jell Fives compared to the GT2s suck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, compared to that compared shit. To that, a lot of shit sucks, suck. yeah. but <laughs> so does the Concepts pink one that they did that they called rose gold I mean, or whatever. I thought that rose, rose, rose was nice. Whatever. I thought that one was nice. It ain't better than the real. All right. It's not better than the rose gold. No, no. It's not better than the rose gold. Let me do my top five, and then we can discuss. All right, number five. I, I can't believe you didn't have this one either in your list. Uh, A6 times Ronnie Feig or Kith, whatever you want to call it, Gel Light 5 Volcano. I don't know how you didn't have that in your top ten because that it. might be the – it's possible that that's the best no, Ronnie Feig right. shoe of all time. It's definitely the best Gel Light 5 of all time, point blank. Uh, hey, number I don't f- know why it's not on my list. Yes, I'm upset with you. There's two know, shoes that you think. should add on your list that I'm upset with, and a third that Simple should have had on that his should list. Should definitely that I'm upset replace with. like Hypercats and Daytonas and all that. A Gel Light Five, okay. Uh, yes, one of the greatest sneakers of all time. Yes. Well. Uh, number four, Simple said it. He had it number one. I disagree because it's not number one. A six times Ronnie uh, Flag GT two Rose Gold Super Flames. Those are unicorns. Like I understand that, but it still has to be on the best A six. I have a New hard Balance. time like. 
in my opinion, considering something the greatest of all time. That's like somebody saying like Tokyo Fives are the greatest like Jordan of all time or something. Like, you wanted to do a list? Well, maybe not you, but you want to do a list with best New Balance and Asics. <laughs> that's, that's on my list. This so this is what okay. This is what I would pick if someone put all New Balance and Asics out there in a row. This is what I would pick in a row. But if we did top ten Jordans, if we did our top ten Jordans of all time, would you put Tokyo Fives in it? No, because I don't. So that shoe sucks. To what about me. lightning fours? Uh, that you said top five or ten? Ten. Top ten Jordans of all time? And yes, that shoe would be in there. I don't know, man. Yes, you already know, know what would be number one. Undefeated four would be number That's one. Whack. How is it whack? Like, what are you talking? If if someone came to you and said you can have whatever shoe you want in every right. category, I don't know, man. It wouldn't. Even, I wouldn't even think of it. If somebody uh, that said makes you no can have, sense. If somebody came to us and said. George Martin, you can have any sneaker you want of all time. You would say undefeated four? Yes. I don't think I would say that. I don't see how. <laughs> the, jo- the Jordan undefeated four? If someone said Ryan, I will give you any sneaker you can have. He doesn't of all like time. that we put like rose gold and stuff on our list. I didn't when you say walked that. out, it's just like a he, unicorn. He said because like... unicorn should be on there. So when you walked out, my number four is the GT2 rose gold. It's a beautiful shoe. It is, but like. And yes, we already if know somebody that. was like, that's like, that's like saying, unless I could come up okay, with, okay, well like, then you're going to hate number three, then let me do number three and then you can do number three and then you can hate more. Unless somebody was like, <laughs> I'll give you the airships that were signed by Jordan and they're a hundred grand. I'm taking the undefeated four. Any shoe. If they say, I'll give you any shoe you want right now. Dead sock. You tell me what shoe. Yeah. Undefeated four. Yeah. Wouldn't even come to my mind. And then two and three for me would be black cement four and white cement four. That would be two and three. And then lightning would be somewhere in the top 10. You asked me, would lightning be in the top 10? Yes. For me, it would. Oh, man. Undefeated Force. I've worn the Thunders. You made fun of Thunders, of and then I wear Thunders, and you're like, that was dope. I need them. That was a whim. You just wore them. Like, <laughs> okay. You just That's happened three times when I've worn Thunders. Right. And you were like, all right, Thunders suck, blah, blah, blah. And then you see them. I've oh, never said thunders. I, thunders. No, no, I'm saying in regular conversation. You gave them away. <laughs> what are you know. talking I about? <laughs> I have no idea. What else? All right. That? Number three, you're going to hate this one, too. Not, you don't hate the shoe. You love the shoe, but you ha- apparently hate this idea. A6 times Ronnie Fi Gel Light 3 Salmon Toes. I don't know how the hell those didn't make either I like one of your shoe. lists. I, I like the that shoe. That is point blank one of the best shoes made you're in right. history. But uh, those are like legends. Like, that, that's in our Hall of Flames, too. Like, I consider that a legend. That's like saying, like, who's the greatest rapper? Like, Jay-Z is the greatest rapper right now? No, Jay-Z is not the greatest but rapper right now. He's a legend. He's If gone. you had a chance to buy them, you would buy them for what retail. Yeah, yeah, for retail, yeah. yeah exactly. Right. So why would yeah. not be on your list? That's the whole point we're making. Like, if you could get any shoe you wanted, if you told me I could have any ASIC or Ronnie Feig of all time, or ASIC or New Balance of all time, this is the order I literally would go in. Well, yeah, because we're talking about now you have the opportunity to get a unicorn. I'm just talking, like, now. All right, number two. I know, Honestly, man. I would buy Heritage, and I'd... Honestly, like if if all things no, are equal and they that all that cost the same, what that. is that heritage? What's that? You mean homage? That, what homage the feed, the homage? Yeah, whatever. no, you chill. fucking crazy. Right. It should have been would, number one on your I list. Then. Over it should be number one. Then you should have been. It should have been number. Should have been number one on my list. Those are like what the aces. You said over salmon toes. You just said you would pick that number one. If someone no, I said I'd pick it over salmon toes. Oh, well, that's not what you said. That might be what you mean. I wouldn't even pick them over salmon toes. That's insane. Yeah, salmon toes is the, would... one of the best shoes of all time. You know, you know what we're talking about. All right, number two. Oh, oh, New... number, number, top of 12. Top 10. I said one of the best. It doesn't. You don't need to assign a number to it. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't have to be best. number one, Kennedy. To, number two, I New Balance to. Times Burn Rubber MT580 Argyle Sock Liner. I don't know what to call it. I can't believe you didn't put that in your list. I'm upset with you for not putting that in your what list. What is that? I have what are those? you talking about? No. The Burn Rubber New Balance MT580. It was the first Burn Rubber New Balance collab before the like white collar and blue collar or black collar, whatever it's called. Blue collar, white collar, before those came out. Was it called MT580? MT580 New Burn Rubber. MT... And the, the sock liner and the laces are Argyle. I don't know what to call it, so I just called it Argyle. <laughs> so it doesn't have a name assigned to it. I looked it up just to make sure. Oh, I had these. No, you didn't. I had the white collars. That's not the. That's not that shoe. That one was like a year before the white collar and blue collar came out. That's what I'm telling you. No, these I think, shoes? I think you made uh, it up. These no, I did not. Suck. I think you're thinking about something else. I'm Why like, would these be number four? You're a moron. Wait, no, I think you're it's not number four. Else. It's number two. Nas wore them. <laughs> that's the only thing that's cool about them. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Like, <laughs> like they kind of suck. I can't find a single picture of them. This sucks right here. Really? 
dick. Oh, that sucks, man. That sucks dick. I, I've been looking at those the entire time. What? I'm like, these ain't uh, it. Hey. Oh, okay. They don't suck, but. Okay, nah, you guys are bro. smoking sticks. But they don't healthy. suck. But, but if it's the right fit for you. You guys are you guys are smoking churn, man. <laughs> <laughs> they don't suck. They're just. You guys are smoking that's churn. That's it? Yeah, that's not that's that's your it. number two? What do you mean that's it? These are tighter than that. The Vernons okay. are tighter than that because they're oh, like ginger right. ale. Like that okay. ginger ale is tight. Oh, so it has to have like a a concept for you to like it, huh? No, Wait, those just that's suck. your number two. It's what are you like talking gray about? We've shoe. talked about Argyle this before. Sucks. White collar and blue collar are way better than those. You are nuts. All right, I, okay. No, I, blue honestly, I, I honestly over. thought that undefeated false flags were the worst shoe to ever be in a top five until you said that. Con- conversation what? over. Yes. Yeah. Undefeated false flags. What are yes. you talking about? Those shoes are not What's number top one, worthy. What's number one? You guys are retarded. I'm done with this conversation. Number, What's number, number one? one? You already know what number one is. Number one is Kennedy's. Greatest <clears throat> sneaker of all You don't even. Time. I mean, there's no debate. No debate. Of okay. the greatest sneaker of all time? You just debated that. No, I said greatest New Balance or ASIC of all time. First of That's all, the list we're doing. First of all, it's his number one, so it has to be in his top five of all time. It has to be. It has to Can't be. I believe you have the nerve to say the Werner's Originals. No, it's Ver- 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 originals them, are them better than those. Right. Them is whack. Them those, look like some Sprite cans. I can't it, that's believe, a point. I can't that's believe, the whole you know, point. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, no, about them. They are garbage. Right? But they're tighter they than that look, gray uh, argyle uh, goofy okay. stuff that he showed nah. us. Uh, all right. Next week, maybe NFL preview. Maybe Hall NFL Flames, preview. Maybe anything. George says something that we're talking about next week. He said, oh, talking about control, NFL bro. contracts and money. You and guys are out of control. ESPN.com right and some me. stuff or something. I'm a little surprised at how this, you we argued was. about this. I didn't really think we'd have much argument about this. You guys upset me. I You're don't know, man. Those are duty. Like, those uh, suck. Uh, Dookie's a strong okay. word, but top 10? Those suck. They look like just. Journeys, they look yeah, like, they look like something you'd buy at like the I'm outlet. Looking, they're so regular. Smoking I've been looking rocks. at it the entire time, like, like sold out these? immediately. I was scrolling through my phone, some, like this can't be. Like, can't, can't, where am I going to get to the picture? You can't find them anywhere. <laughs> sold out immediately. Can't because find them everybody bought them and burned them. Oh, okay, that's why. All right, anything else? I think that's it. Be sure to check out Manor. Um, give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Comment below. Give us some feedback. And that's the sneak this. You guys are on drugs.